Okay. Hi, we are Lori and Dwayne Delzer. We've been serving in Bolivia many years, and we thank you at uh, VBC for all the help, support, encouragement that you've been giving us all these years. Thank you for all the prayers that, that you've been giving us. Mm, we came up in March. My mom passed away, and we came up for her burial and what was supposed to be a quick one-week trip. Uh, the border closed to Bolivia the night before uh, our flight back. So we have been nomads here in the States, providentially by God, um, since mm -hmm. mid-March and gone from family members uh, to friends. Mm -hmm. uh, while we're here, there was many different things we've been up to. One is um, uh, we've been in contact with different brothers and sisters in Christ in, in Bolivia, oftentimes uh, encouraging them, counseling them, but we've also done many, uh, at least weekly, both Lori and I, weekly Zoom meetings uh, where we've shared the Word of God, and uh, it's been a real uh, blessing uh, for us to, to keep in contact through this medium. Also, we've been able to uh, minister to our family members, like for example, my dad, who is in the later stages of Parkinson's and uh, trying to encourage them and um, praying for them uh, and able to share the gospel with some of my um, my family members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you are probably wondering about the situation uh, with COVID in Bolivia. Um, just this last week, they finally opened up the borders. Um, mm -hmm. Things were very, very bad. They don't have infrastructure, neither medical or whatever, and they were on very tight lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, people were dying, and we have friends and people we know care about in the church and, and others who um, have lost family members or some who have passed away. So the repercussions um, going back, I think, are going to be uh, very strong. Um, yeah. So the churches have continued to do uh, meetings, uh, their weekly and during the week meetings through Zoom. And Lori's been able to do a lot of uh, women's meetings and discipleship, and discipleship through, through Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Basic, yeah. Go ahead. basically we feel like um, even though it's been very difficult and it's been difficult on us too, uh, the Lord's been working in our lives as well as the lives of uh, the brothers and sisters in Bolivia and even the non-Christians. We have found that through this hard time, people are much more open to the gospel than before. And it's sad to say that hard times, uh, you know, we have to go through hard times to get waken up, but that's what is, seems to be happening in Bolivia. Mm -hmm. So... Um... Quickly, uh, we need prayer for various things. Uh huh. Uh, prayer for when we're going to go back to Bolivia. They've opened up flights for those who are uh, citizens and residents. We're residents, and so we can go back. Um, we would like to be there in October, especially in the first days of October, if the Lord opens up the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's going to be elections, and we feel the need to get back before in case things kind of get hairy afterwards. So. Mm -hmm. And we would also like to, when we get back to, uh, I personally feel led to open up a ministry in, in church planting. There's a number of opportunities in a couple of the neighborhoods on the far outskirts of of the city we live in, in Tarija, Bolivia, mm -hmm. and uh, you can pray for that too. And we just appreciate prayer all around. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess finally the last mm -hmm. thing is that the, the contentious church situation that Dwayne's been mm -hmm. trying to mediate, um, even during the pandemic, has continued. They have two different Zoom groups instead of one Zoom group for the church, and there's it's still not good and we would ask for prayer you pray do want wisdom for Dwayne as he tries to mediate between the two groups and also just for a softening of hearts mm. thank you thank you very much appreciate you okay bye bye blessings uh, goodbye <laughs>